mpaka usikie imekuwa moto. Haya yeah. rembesha juu rembesha juu na mnai na mnai na mnai na mnai rembesha 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 mwagia naibu wa rais. Yeah. Tengeneza ingine tengeneza 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 weka makofi. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you please be seated. Um, please be seated. Thank you, C.S. Susanna Kumisha, our Cabinet Secretary for Health, Susanna Kumisha, the Principal Secretary, State Department for Public Health and Professional Standards, Mary Mudoni Muriuki, our Principal Secretary for the State Department of Medical Services, Harikim Tai, our Development Partners, Johnson & Johnson, AMREF, KCB, Safaricom, WHO, UNICEF and all the others. And most importantly, the great army, our community health promoters, <laughs> distinguished guests, good evening. Good evening. God is good. And all the time. Salimeni kwa hewa bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe tena. Amen. Jeshi anakumisha Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Afya yetu. Afya yetu. Na jukumu letu. Afya yetu. Happy Valentine. Happy Valentine. Asanteni sana na let me take this opportunity to welcome you to the Hustlers Mansion this afternoon for this very important occasion. Today, we make a key milestone in our health sector as we launch payment of more than 3 billion Kenya shillings Tibet to the 107,000 community health promoters. As the national government, we are honoring our commitment of contributing 50% of the stipend to these great men and women. For the last four months, they have selflessly served our nation. On behalf of our president, Dr. William Ruto, we honor you for your Viga and Vela, which is changing service delivery to the people of Kenya. These are undoubtedly our health heroes. Pongezi, Asante Nisari. I bring you greetings from our president, Dr. William Ruto Mepokea. He has just left the country for some international engagement to Addis Ababa on matters to do with the African Union. And he has told me to tell you Happy Valentine. Happy Valentine. And he is very happy with the job that you are doing and he has told me to tell you he loves you. It is because of this outstanding performance that we have reached 2.7 million households since the President launched the Community Health Program in October last year. In under four months, we have touched lives of at least 13.5 million Kenyans, a 25% a reach in personalized health service. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and our volunteers. This is what I mean in a personalized service. With a simple CHP kit of blood pressure machine and a glucometer, 1.56 million Kenyans have been screened for diabetes from the comfort of their homes. Of this, 24,000 have been referred to health facilities for quick attention, something that could have been missed, leading to life-threatening situations and complications. On the other hand, over 1.1 million Kenyans have been screened for hypertension at home, of whom 50,000 have been referred to health facilities for further attention. In addition, 54,000 expectant mothers have been screened. At least 24,000 have been referred to health facilities. It is a pragmatic approach by the Ruto administration 
to achieving universal health coverage. For the first time in the history of Kenya, most Kenyans at the bottom of the socioeconomic pyramid can see a health service provider in their homes. We are on course to delivering on universal health coverage as envisioned under the Kenya Kwanzaa Plan. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, our volunteers, on our part, we are investing in strengthening community and facility-based primary health care, as promised under the health care pillar. This is because we know that primary health care is a people-centered approach for promotive, preventive, curative, and rehabilitative services. With early detention of diseases and other health conditions, Afia Nyumbani is putting our nation on the path to reducing the cycle of health-induced poverty. Further, studies have shown that for every one Kenya shilling invested in community health, we would realize the equivalent of 9.4 million Kenya shillings, 9.4 Kenya shillings in economic and societal benefits. We want to stop Kenyans from sinking into poverty because quality health care is unaffordable to low-income households in a country where only about one in four people have a health insurance cover. It is also estimated that our people are spending over 150 billion shillings in out-of-pocket treatment. Besides selling property, harambees of medical bills are a common day occurrence. Even as we speak here today, I know in your phones, you have a WhatsApp group to raise funds for medical bills. Yes. While the National Hospital Insurance Fund requires at least 500 Kenya shillings in monthly payments, defaulting and dormant accounts for almost half of the membership leaves low-income families a step away from abject poverty. It is for this reason that our administration is undertaking radical reforms through the Social Health Insurance Act 2023 and other related frameworks for to access quality health care as required by the Constitution. Sorting out health issues has a direct positive implication on improving the lives and livelihoods of the people, especially at the grassroots. The national government has provided at least 107,000 community health promoters with kits 110,000 smartphones for electronic data collection, among other requirements, as agreed during the intergovernmental summits of February and December 2023. We are headed in the right direction towards a healthy and wealthy nation. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and our volunteers, as we release a stipend to the community health promoters, they are ready to make their contribution to a healthier and better Kenya. In this regard, we are calling on counties led by our county governors to fulfill and sustain their side of the bargain. Indeed, quality health care is not a favor to the people of Kenya. It is a constitutional right which we must fulfill together. Kenyans care about quality, efficiency, and effective service delivery. This can only be realized when the two levels of government complement and collaborate. To foster and sustain the gains we are making, the national government will strive to timely disburse funds to the counties. In conclusion, I thank the, the counties and our partners who have worked with us in implementing the CHP program. On this note, I request of our 47 counties to also ensure smooth implementation of the CHP program by committing resources. Asante Nisana. Uh, great people. I don't want to overemphasize your critical role in the success of the universal health coverage program. You are a critical pillar in this intervention. And I want to tell you that uh, you are the unsung heroes because you have been working for many years. You have been working for many years 
without anybody thinking about you. This is the first government since independence that has gone out of its way to appreciate that we need to support you, albeit in a small way. What we are giving you is really very little. But the gesture itself is important. That the Ruto administration appreciates your sacrifice, your commitment to helping our people. I want to say as I travel around the country, since time immemorial, I've been a member of parliament, I've been a leader in this country as a deputy president, the community health promoters are part and parcel of the Kenyan nation. Wherever you go, where there are 10 people, they are there. Even today, we were with the president early in the morning in Nyeri. There was a big crowd. We found some promoters in a corner somewhere. From there, we went to a place called Karatina. We found them there. We came to Gatondo. We found them there. When you go to a funeral, you find them there. You go to a wedding, you find them there. Yes. You go to a Harambe, they are there. Yes. These promoters are part and parcel of the Kenyan nation. Yes. And uh, our government, by providing for this stipend, makes that recognition. We really appreciate you. And we know how critical you are in the success of the primary health care program. So I really want to urge you to continue with commitment, with diligence, continue sacrificing your time to help other human beings the way you have always done. And it's on that note, I want to send a passionate plea to our governors to very quickly also organize their part of the stipend. So that with the 2,500 from, from the national government and their 2,500, the promoter has some 5,000 to take care of his family and do a few things. So we are going to give you your money in arrears for the time that you have worked. Yeah. And thanks, thanks to technology, there will be no voucher. There will be nobody you are going to talk to to pay you quickly. Wewe pesa yako ni nakumisha na simu yako. There is nobody hapo katikati. Sindio? Unajua kama ikekua ni voucher, inaenda cash office, sijui account, sijui audit. That's a, yeah. and, uh, and we want to appreciate our bankers, KCB, and our service providers, Safaricom, for that service. And uh, it will be very, very efficient so that we can reflect the efficiency you have shown us. You have been very efficient. It's only prudent on our part to be equally efficient. And let me say, this program, it has taken us one year to put things together. I want to talk to this good gentleman of the Fourth Estate. How about your magazine was in Wangalesh? I have seen you write many things about this administration. Oh, it has not met uh, pledges, or oh, commitments, nini, what? There is no child who is born and starts walking the following day. There is no child who is born and starts eating a very the following day. Iyo mtoto must crawl, ajue kuongea, nini, ya kue na meno, diwa kule We were sworn in on the 15th of September, 13th of September, and we took three years to set up government and structures. 
it has taken us another one year to put our programs into place. This one for the community health promoters being one of them. The results now will be seen this year. Because we have 100,000 kids, we have the promoters with communication gadget, and now they are motivated. They are able to move from home to home. And I want to tell you, good people from the fourth estate, our health bill will come down. Being that, the cost of preventing a disease is nine times the cost of curing one. So by investing in this program, it may look expensive in the short run. But in the medium term and long term, by these promoters going to homes and helping our people to prevent going to hospital, we will cut down the cost of treating Kenyans. And this is one program, you good gentlemen of the press, I want us to have a discussion with you December this year. I want you to move around and talk to people who have, who have been attended to by this great army. You have seen, before we came in, we found our elderly population. Their monthly stipends used to delay for eight, ten months. Since we came in, those areas have been cleared, and today they are paid before the 30th of every month. When we came in, the cost of subsidies, the cost of fertilizer was 7,000. Through prudent intervention and proper planning and sound economic policies, the cost of fertilizer today is 2,500. As a result of having sustainable interventions, because the previous administration was subsidizing consumption, which is not sustainable, we decided to subsidize production. As a result of that intervention, within one year, this government, led by President William Ruto, has brought down the cost of unga from 230 shillings to 135 shillings in one year. Good people of the press, the dollar had gone to a skyrocketing price of 162. Today, as we speak, through prudent and effective interventions, at the microeconomic levels. Today, the shilling is stabilizing every day. And those who had hold the dollars stand to lose a lot. I want to repeat, all those who are holding dollars, please rush to your next bureau or bank and cash them in. We had one year to reorganize our debt portfolio. When we came in, we found a debt of 9.6 trillion. Interest rates were going almost to 20%. One year of good planning today, all our debts are on course. We have met our obligations to the lenders, and you are aware that the euro board that is coming in June has been taken care of and the future looks very bright. And I want to assure the people of Kenya that the planning stage now is over, and 2024, this is a year. This is a year. And I want to assure the people of this great country that they will start feeling, they have already started feeling, the effects of good economic planning and management. We have a president who is committed with a team that backs him up. And you'll start now appreciating the benefits of that good planning. So we want you good people of the press 
At the end of this year, let's have a conversation on all the issues you have been raising. All the issues you have been raising. Some of you have been saying the president is traveling too much. The results of that travel are there for everybody to see. The president was not at worries. He was going out to engage our partners, to negotiate loans, to negotiate economic interventions, to look for, to look for direct foreign investment. And the results are there for everybody to see. So I want to say our great army, I wish you well. You are great people. Please continue being patriotic and supporting your country. Be merciful to those who are in need. Continue exercising care. Continue handling our patients with care and dignity because of the position that has been bestowed on you to help others. It is good to help others. It's godly and it's very fulfilling. For our members of parliament, we want to say thank you very much. Dr. Pukose and your committee and indeed the entire National Assembly and the Senate for the role you played in laws to anchor our health plan. We are very grateful. And we don't take the input of parliament for granted. We are very, very, very grateful. I want to say when I'm here as I conclude that the president and I has total confidence in the leadership of C.S. Susan the Commissioner and her two PSs and the entire team in the Ministry of Health for the good job you are doing. Please continue. You are doing a great job and the President and I are very pleased with what is going on in the Ministry. You have the support of the President. You have my support. Please continue leading from the front so that we can achieve universal health coverage so that we stop this Harambis over the weekend. There are too many. So that our people do not suffer in pain. Kwa hivyo mimi nimeshukuru sana 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 na nimefurahi sana na mimi natakia nyinyi mema mkiendelea na kazi yenu. Sisi yetu tumefanya magava na wafanya yao mupokee kitu yenu muende kazi. Si ndio? Si ndio? Na mkiona magava na wanakaka mnawakumbusha. Si ndio? Unaambia President William Ruto na Rigiji na Susan wamefanya kazi yao. Na nyinyi mfanye eh? Yeah. Si kwa namna hiyo? Yeah. Kila mtu asukume laini yake. Yeah. Sisi tumesukuma yetu, sisi hatuna maneno na nyinyi, labda nyinyi mkuu na maneno na sisi. Ah. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> na unajua rais ni mtu ya kusema na kufanya nini? Yeah. Na kutenda our president is focused when he focuses on something. He doesn't look sideways. Mimi ndio naangalia kando kando mtu asimchenge. Ninaambia wewe mkubwa wewe angalia mbele. Mimi naangalia kano na kano na nyu. Unajua kuna watu wengine si wazuri sana. Akiangalia mbele wanaweza kuja na shoka. Sasa mimi niko niko hapo nyuma. Si mnani hanga na kabo nyuma. Na unaona nikikaa nikiangalia namna hii na nyuma. Si hadi kwa sababu nimekosa kazi ya kufanya. Mimi nachuga mdosa asikuje kutatizwa na mtu yeyote. And him we can focus for this country for the great people of Kenya. Asante sana. May God bless you and bless you abundantly. Naam asante sana. Makofi mazuri, makofi mazuri kwa Mheshimiwa Naibu Rais. Tukikuomba Mheshimiwa Naibu Rais kubaki mahali pale tunapo muomba pia waziri makatibu wa kudumu vile vile viongozi wetu kwenye bunge la saniti na lile la kitaifa kujionga na Mheshimiwa Naibu Rais pale kwenye jukwaa wa shirika wenza wetu. Our development partners, a kind request to join His Excellency, the Deputy President, on stage, right here on this table, and the next table, please. Wahudumu wetu waafia basi tumefikia mahali ambapo sote tulikuwa tumengoja. Mambo ni leo mambo ni sasa. Tuko tayari. Tuko tayari. Aha, tuko tayari. Sijui kama mko na simuzinyu mkononi. Zipo. Manake mambo ni sasa hivi. Benki ya KCB wako hapa. Shirika la Wamasiliano la Safaricom liko hapa mko tayari. Sasa Mheshimiwa Naibu Rais akiwa pamoja 
na CS wetu wa afya vile vile tunaye B Salome Mbogwa Abdullahi Ahmed wakiwasilisha wahudumu kwa runinga yetu kwanza tutaona countdown runinga tafadhali countdown kabla tujabonyeza tano nne tatu mbili moja basi tubonyeze 